Have you ever wanted to, I don't know, swim with sharks, maybe die, or maybe, just maybe, you wanted to pet a puppy? Well, now you can with the wonderful, wonderful world of VTubers. Anime girls, do you like YouTube? You've probably heard of VTubers then at some point in your life. In fact, you might be a little obsessed with them just like me. So let's all take a dive into the deep, deep rabbit hole that is the VTuber world. Basically, we've all been victims of binge watching a couple series or TV shows here and there during quarantine. I mean, most people don't have anything to do right now, so might as well watch all the anime that you want to while we wait, right? Some people went a little bit further and began watching VTubers, also known as virtual YouTubers. Hello, my name is Mojoko and Mojomi. So, for those of you who aren't aware yet of what a VTuber is, it's an online graphics generated avatar, almost always inspired by anime designs that run YouTube channels to entertain people. The first entertainer to begin using the phrase virtual YouTuber was Kituna Ai, who began live streaming in late 2016. However, the whole concept of vlogging and using virtual avatars for self-representation has existed for quite a while now. With the UK-based Japanese vlogger Ami Yamato being the first well-known personality using a virtual avatar. In 2015, toy company Mattel used a virtual Barbie doll vlogging as a marketing stunt. It's not like modern media hasn't seen this type of content previously, but now we just have cute anime girls doing more cute anime things. It's been there all around us, but began exploding in popularity just now. These two examples, however, can never be considered popular, or at least not as much as the current VTuber wave. Kitsuna, on top of being waifu material, never lost out to any real YouTubers in terms of quality. As we shift into an era where the internet can provide satisfying content without ever dipping into IRL spaces, such as musicians making a living through Spotify, or conventional video game streamers. The concept of a VTuber isn't really something revolutionary. Matter of fact, most of Kitsuna's content revolve mostly around playthroughs, fan interaction, and singing. A good seasoned YouTuber employs a high level of social interactivity to retain their viewers on their channel, with Kitsuna Ai being no exception to this. She does this exceptionally, creating videos and content that's specifically geared towards her fans. With the most notable example of Kitsuna interacting with her fans was one of her 2018 interactions with PewDiePie, who was even a fan of her on his own. The VTuber fan interactions are what motivate viewers to return and remain as followers with their content, and I never thought I'd be able to say that I am no longer scared of sharks. With PewDiePie, both her reputation and her popularity shot through the roof when she interacted with him, and after a positive reaction to her content on his own channel, Kitsuna Ai became the first VTuber to reach global audiences on a large scale. This was game changing for the VTuber community as virtual content creators began experiencing real changes to their followings thanks to their own popularity growth. Kitsuna's character was relatable, a fun loving high school girl with a consistent existential crisis which is a lot like myself, which was very profitable for her domestic and international fans of Japanese culture. Kitsuna Ai is a great example of a VTuber that knows how to actually relate to fans. As with 90% of the VTubers now, they are all amazing at their jobs and what they do, which is why my wallet looks scarcer than ever. She became so popular that she began a VTuber trend which was known as the first wave of VTubers. Kitsuna eventually became the culture ambassador for the Japan National Tourism Organization. That was a mouthful. A few months later, the VTuber community grew massively, which sparked the growth of online VTubers to this day. There are hundreds of VTuber idols based in several countries including Japan, Indonesia, China, and the US. Many VTuber idols eventually became virtual celebrities, with some of them including Gargura, Mori Calliope, and Amelia Watson. Entertainers use several different software to motion capture the AI's movements such as FaceRig, Vroid, and Live2D. At first, being a VTuber wasn't exactly easy. Even the VTuber scene has completely devolved from where it started. With the concept of using virtual avatars with full body tracking and 3D space considering the initial costs, and actually creating a VTuber changed everything. Most YouTubers can simply begin uploading a live 2D avatar with basic face tracking software that anyone can do. Despite the more limited technology available right now, VTubers could be considered more popular than ever at the moment. However, how do people even get addicted to VTubers in the first place? VTubers have captured the hearts of millions of fans around the world, including myself, precisely due to their content. It's their creativity, their conversations, and their songs, with many of these alternate identities providing an alternative reality to people. Escapism, a way to look different, a way to look the way you want to look to the world. So, why is waifu better than human mode? 
Because waifu can be anything you desire it to be. Even big YouTubers have joined the action of VTubing, with Pokemon creating her own avatar to sing, dance, and play video games. It's very convenient when you can change your identity like that. In fact, Pokemon's debut made its way around social media, and while much of the community welcomed her in, plenty of VTuber fans did not. Mainly because VTubers are seen as a way to hide someone's online identity to make them anonymous. Many users feel that because Pokemon was a famous YouTuber, there was no point in creating a VTuber using the same term for a digital avatar. And then of course, we can't forget to mention waifus everywhere, I mean, uh, Hololive production. This is the fuel that has kept the VTuber trend alive and, of course, profitable through the years. Hololive is an agency of virtual YouTubers that works the same way as any other company in the talent industry, providing them with high levels of PR that they hadn't reached before in a universal level. To put things in to perspective, Kitsuna had high levels of popularity on her own a couple of years ago, but Hololive wanted every VTuber to have their own level of popularity. As of November 2019, they've reached 2.6 million and 3.5 million subscribers on YouTube and Bilibili, which is the Chinese equivalent of YouTube. And what makes things funny is how Hololive began in just June of last year. It doesn't even have two years and has allowed VTubers to become celebrities. The reason VTubers became so incredibly famous is because, well one, they're waifus, but also because Hololive promotes them like idols instead of regular YouTubers. VTubers had to undergo interviews and auditions, so it was only the top tier personalities, voices, and art who would make it under the Hololive banner. And lord forgive me, cause I have sent. It's precisely all this exposure and business acumen that brought VTubers into the worldwide scene, establishing a physical presence in the form of sponsorship deals, collaborations with more celebrities just like PewDiePie's, and even brands and companies, such as VTuber Kaguya Luna, breaking a Guinness World Record, and collaborating with Nissan Foods in a publicity stunt. By attaching a phone to a helium balloon, her stream reached an altitude of 30 kilometers above sea level, breaking the previous record of just 18.42 kilometers, which helped to promote a cup noodle franchise. The end result is that VTubers aren't only profitable, they are incredibly popular. With the COVID-19 circumstances keeping everyone indoors, many gamers have turned to online streaming. One of the many ways gamers can entertain their viewers while having fun and not showing their face. So what are your guys' thoughts on VTubers? You probably already knew about them. If not, then what are you doing with your life? Come on now, simp, throw some money at them, support them, love them, do it. But also, be sure to let me know who your favorite VTuber is down in the comments below. I've been Broken Obsessed in My Otaku Ways, and I will see all of you lovely people next time.